All right, we are back for the next part of the Dokkan hot takes right here. Uh, here's some funny cats, man. We love cats, by the way. Great start to this. I figured, oh, <laughs> dude, I love cats. All right, anyway, so we're continuing on. Uh, we'll go for about an hour. Maybe we'll go a little bit longer. Um, this is a perfect video to record while World Tournament is going on. Uh, we'll just continue where we left off from the uh, end of the last one. Um, I did talk about private servers more than I wanted to in the first part, so we're going to really try and skip over that. Not a lot of dodge talk, but I probably will just try and do my best to skip over it um, if possible. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, what do we got here? Uh, there are... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so this is just more of like a real opinion thing. With a lot of Dokkan stuff, I am very confident a lot of times in talking about Dokkan stuff to the point where a lot of people get real salty about it. They do not like the way I say things. But OSTs, that's where I back down. It's like, that's just purely like, you know, your own taste. For me... I was never the biggest fan of Tech Gogeta's OST. I know everyone loves it. That's fine. Just for me, not really my thing. STR Vegito, though, has always been like a top five OST to me. Uh, I, I, If I sat down to do OSTs, the OSTs that still feel the best to me, just in no particular order, uh, Int Goku and Piccolo, STR Vegito, uh, the morale boost for the AGL LR Super Saiyan Goku and Vegito, that may actually be my number one. That one, I that OST is just so good. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think more, but like those are just a couple, right? I am typically not as like invested. Like P OSTs, a lot of people, it's like one of their favorite things about the game, which is fine for me. It's just never really at the biggest forefront. Um, but you know, I I do enjoy hearing them when playing the active skills and stuff like that. EGL UI Goku's not in the top five. Um, I mean, I would heavily, heavily disagree. Can we <clears throat> pull up my last tier list just so see what I was kind of rocking with? Um, okay. Let's take a look at this. Um, let's feel, let's see if I feel differently about this. So Beast by himself, yes. Uh, Vegeta's good, but he's not on Beast level. I, it, it does kind of surprise me if people think that. Uh, Gogeta, it's like, damn, like, UI is just better than Gogeta, besides when Gogeta gets his target mechanic out, like, for sure, man. UI just has better dodge, I, I feel like a lot of the times he's gonna have better defense. I've died a lot with Gogeta, but it's always worth it to bring him, because his target mechanic. When you get to the end of some of these crazy bosses, I, I mean, I could certainly hear Gogeta argued over UI, but, I mean, UI just feels like a, he, he just feels better than Gogeta, I besides the target mechanic and ui he has a team protector ability like gogeta too which is a very easy to get revive uh, yeah no ui is definitely top five, like definitely top five i think you are smoking dick if you don't think ui is top five maybe that's a little harsh we're getting a couple of shots here. <laughs> no because no, i i love i love him a bit i love him um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, for sure, UI is top five. Like, that is something I'm looking at, like, definitely for sure. I'm looking at this. I don't really think that I feel any differently from when I put this out. Um, if anything, the one character I could consider moving down a bit might be STR Vegito. But only slightly. I, you know, it better, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, because remember, UI Goku is just like, I, I mean, undisputed best unit in the game, turn one. Like, how how could he not be? He has 100% dodge, turn one. And then if he revives, he has 100% dodge again. Uh, like it's, and, and like, people just pretend that, like, like, Beast, Vegeta, and UI all are supporting as well. Which I feel like goes over people's head. They forget that. <laughs> right? Like, I, I don't know. A UI is very clearly top five. Very clearly, I would say. Uh, Blue Fusion's are the best year eight units. Yeah, a, lot of, a couple, couple people saying this. I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not really arguing that. I mean, over Kid Gohan, Carnival Goku. Yeah, I, I mean, just the way that the Blue Fusion's kits are set up. What really does help them is, you know, them being at their best at the start in slot three allows them to age much better than if they were a character, say, LR Vegeta and Trunks, who need to be in slot one. Right, so that helps the Blue Fusions out a ton. And then they transform, and you have 100% dodge. Um, <clears throat> again, 100% dodge is, uh, you know, doesn't really get much better than that. 
I guess besides, you know, one of the target mechanics of, like, Beast or Gogeta or something. Uh, I mean, you were in a call, be able to easily get a lower LR Broly by several placements on the tier list. Probably not. Several placements? I don't think so. I Like, I, I, I like Buhan. I like the Gammas. I like them. But, like, several placements below them? Nah, no way. Sorry, kid. You're not on that level. Uh, private servers are hurting the game. Yeah, that's true. If they grow, they could continue to really potentially kill the game. But, again, we're, we're not going to dwell on private servers here. Uh, global having the potential to lose tickets and benefits with a sync is worse for Mike personally than having to wait for whatever new unit comes out. Free summons will always be more worth it, in his opinion, than a faster schedule. Um, sure. I, I mean, one of the ways I always looked at it was that a uh, healthier community, which I do think would come with uh, Global being caught up. I mean, I, I think that would come... The healthiest version would be everything the same on both versions. That is the best way to do it. Um, you know, I, I would love if they would keep the Global shit as it is, but then just add it to JP. That would be the best compromise we could get. Because then Global still has that good shit. Global's caught up, which it should be. And, and we're all winning. I, I have no clue. Um, I, I, I mean, I would say... I feel like the most likely chance is the games catch up and Global still gets the shit and then JP doesn't. I, I, I feel like it's the most likely outcome. Um, all right, now let's see. We have a Cherry Coke Zero, a Coke Zero, or a Barg's Root Beer Zero. We're going to go Cherry Coke. That's what we're doing. Pow! Okay. Uh, HL Super Saiyan 3 Goku definitely feels like the best easy ATR. I don't think he's better than Kefla, but... I haven't really had a chance to use Kefla, so I can't comment super hard on her, right? Like, I could give a strong opinion of Kefla and Physical Rose Goku Black, but whereas, like, you know, like, get me in a call with someone, and I'll probably beat them down about UI Goku, I could not do that with Goku Black and, and Kefla, because I don't have the experience using them. So even I'm not as, I don't know how I want to word it, like, invested in being like, no, I'm right. It's like, Eh, let me use him first. I, I could see Goku at two, though. I, I have not really sat down to go super in-depth on it. I, I've used a lot of the characters. Um, you know, I'm liking AJL Zamasu. In future, Gohan is solid. Bardock can have his moments, but, you know, STR Super Vegeta comes out... Oh, actually, in about tw uh, 26 hours. Um, Super Vegeta comes out, right? So I I'll be able to use him, and we'll, we'll kind of get a, a good look at it. Um, honestly, like him a lot more than the Dokkan Fest. I assume he means the STR Dragon Fest. Uh, helps the majority of people would have the Ejo and Rainbow. Well, uh, no, I mean, I don't disagree. Or, I, I disagree. A lot of people are numbskulls who have re-rolled re a million times. So, considering that EGL Dragon Fest, the last main banner he was on was 2020, I would actually argue it, it's more likely people don't even have EGL Dragon Fest let alone have him rainbowed or something like that. So I'm not really too sure. Um, I do think it's better as a global player to get EGL Dragon Fist with 150 red coins, which he is. Let me just, you guys know, I like to show things on screen when I talk about them, not just um, talk about it typically. Uh, but Dragon Fist is 150 red coins. So these super easy A characters, we're going to be getting at least the first wave of them. Like, coins, it's pretty low. I mean, I'm going to tell you guys this. I would run AGL Dragon Fist 10 times out of 10 over LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I Like, if it came down to them, I would almost never run Super Saiyan 4 Goku over AGL Dragon Fist. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. Super Saiyan 4 Goku carry, like... Uh, the amount of risk he carries, like, I'm good. I'm good on that. Um, and the reward now is not even... Like, he in full power, he's definitely strong. But he's not God like he was when he first dropped. Um, uh, his design hurt him almost immediately, right? Like, once we got to Worldwide. All right, so we can get rid of that. Face cam videos by you are better than no face cam. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just not the biggest face camera. Maybe we'll, I'll consider it. It's so funny. We had, Nano was over here. And, like, I didn't, we, we just, I don't know, like, we just didn't find time to get it set up. 
the really nice face cam. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Uh, everyone's in chat. No, 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 no. I've been talking about how I don't want to talk about it all video. Uh, but yeah, we do. We do love cats. Okay. All right. All right. This is multi. Oh, 10 minutes in. We've got two cat sightings already in the video. Very good. Uh, Super Vegeta is a complete and utter worthless EZA because at this point, EZA doesn't make go. Oh my God. He's crazy. It'll be gone and forgotten within two months. Um, I probably disagree because besides Kefla, like easy ATURs, they're typically just like complementary pieces on a team. Uh, like you go back and look through the years, like you don't usually get easy ATURs who it's like, oh my god, they're tanking everything and doing so much damage. Like the easy ATURs always are flawed. Like uh, Kefla, I think is just an aberration. I I do not think Kefla is like something. Right, like you can expect, um, but even she would carry some risk because she has a dodge character, right? I, I think Super Vegeta, like they easily could have made him supremely broken, but they just made him good. Like he he's gonna be a, a good character to run. Um, I think against the toughest bosses, even their normals will kill him, Trunks and Blue Gogeta. But I think Super Vegeta will be a nice piece in a lot of fights. I mean, he'll dominate the Supreme Battle Spectacle Beast Gohan fight. I think he'll be a nice option against Cell Max. I mean, there's several fights that Vegeta will definitely help out in. All right, let's uh, go to the next one here. Community should focus more on enjoying units and animations of teams rather than their ability to effortlessly no item hard events. I mean, yeah, that is certainly true. Uh, one reason for me it's been such a big thing of like, okay, like no item in the character and not using items so I get a good gauge of them is telling players which units are good to summon for and which aren't. And I mean, that has certainly been twisted and devolved into like its worst form. And especially, I mean, we're not going to get into it deeply, but like the private server's influence and blah, 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 blah. I mean, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, since most people don't rainbow units, don't replay hard events all day, all it does is make everyone bicker for months on end. True, but, I mean, people are at least very much enjoying the game and having the discussions and stuff like that. So, like, I, I you know, like, there, you know, there's some W stuff Misha saying, I mean, I don't, like, okay, like, if they weren't talking about that, like, what would people talk about? I don't know, like, they would just be making, um, meme edits like the, the JP Dokkan community. Like, I don't think it's too bad. I, I always maintain that the Dokkan community is not as bad as many people really try and push it out to be. Um, obviously, we have some knuckleheads, but guess what? That's going to be in every community. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, Goku and Vegeta are the best 8th anniversary uh, unit right now. The uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I do like their standby, but, I mean, it's it's just so easy for them to get crushed. Uh, I want to do kind of like a, a world tour with them in a lot of the tough fights and, and get a good look at it. I would certainly, right now, aim and more agree with more of, like, Vegito and Gogeta as about the 8th eighth, eighth, eighth anniversary characters. Um, if you're talking about the summonable LRs, though, between the Goku, the Kid Gohan... The Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Goku, and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, yeah, probably. I, I would say the, the Boo Duo for that. Uh, nobody will catch me in my 30s. Holess. Okay, so I am in my 30s. I am Holess. And I am talking about a mobile gacha game all day. You can't roast shit. Um... Oh, man, there's there's one thing on the tip of my tongue I, I do want to throw out, but, I, you know, I'll just take the L. How about that? I'll just take the L. We'll move on. <laughs> I, there are <laughs> there are things I could reply to with this, but we, we'll, you know what? We're just going to take the L and keep it moving. We can't have 100% Ws all over all of these tweets and stuff, right? We'll, we'll, we'll keep it moving. Uh, UI and evolution are equal as number of two units in the game after Beast. So... I, I mean, I do like the... Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay. Damn. Mystic Mystic is such a hater, dude. God, this kid. I, anyway, um, I, I do disagree with this. I do like... All I seem to see is negativity about AGL UI, which is crazy. Because Vegeta, in a lot of their kits, like, he just has the better... Like, he landed on having the better part of it than Goku. But their kits are very similar at the same time. But I've said it before, Vegeta does clearly feel better to me. 
Um, you guys know, like, I, I love my dodging characters and stuff like that, but Vegeta is just, like, a stronger, tighter kit, more consistent. I, like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I would say, to me, it feels very clear that Vegeta is number two. Um, I would say UI Goku on the same tier as him, yes. Right? Like, I don't think, like, like Vegeta, again, I would say clearly better, but not, like, a tier above UI Goku better. Um, and, you know, looking at this, again, like, I, UI just feels stronger than Gogeta, besides when Gogeta does the target mechanic. So, we're, we're for sure right there. Uh, okay, so what do we got? Uh, so, this is Carnival Blue Gogeta. Arguably the most valuable unit in the game right now, except for Beast. Okay. Hold pretty much any single team together just by being there. The heal is very good. Yep. Rainbow Orb changing. And then, you know, his taunt, his target mechanic, very broken. Not to mention his damage is consistently insane. All true. Plus 70% dodge. It's all true. I mean, that's all true. Like, I don't, there's nothing uh, to disagree with. I mean, most valuable unit in the game after Beast. I, I I mean, certainly, like, if I'm building a team, like, I look at this top six, and you want to include, I mean, at least two of the top six. The reason is because all of these top six, for me, have got one of the, you know, Orange Piccolo, the STR Vegito Transformation 10-turn Scouter, uh, this guy's target mechanic, UI and Vegeta's Revive, and Beast Gohan's Active. Having those abilities completely change the landscape of the fight. Um, if you have multiple of these six abilities, you know, Broly, Buhan, Gammas, and Goku and Vegeta down here, like, they're just good, strong characters, but, I mean, the Gammas do have their two-turn support once you're all the way at LR Gamma 1, but I, I don't know if that's quite a team protector mechanic the same way these guys really have abilities. So, I, you know, I, again, I, I would look at this right now, and I would not make a change to this. Uh, when, when did I put this in here? This is the 2nd of March I did this. So this would have been after Vegito and Buhan came out. Yeah, again, I I don't... Uh, if anything, uh, maybe I would uh, put Broly at 5, maybe Vegito 6, and Piccolo 7. So just, like, swap Broly to right there. That's maybe the only thing I could think of that I would change. Uh, the, the, the ninth anniversary of Gogeta was always better than Broly from the very beginning. Um, m maybe. I mean, I... <sighs> ninth anniversary of Gogeta was always better than Broly. Uh, maybe. Uh, th the thing that, no matter what, really helped Broly was the Golden Frieza. Like, Golden Frieza really, I, I felt like, helped that Broly a lot. Um, cause Golden Frieza, like both Broly and Gogeta have the same weakness, which is that, you know, turn one, slot one, that, you know, they'll take a lot of damage before they attack. And Frieza certainly could protect Broly with that. I don't know. I mean, that's, I, I would probably say Broly above Gogeta, but I'm, I don't, this, I'm not fighting this. Tech Gohan is still top 10 TRs in Dokkan. No, I, I, I can't know. I, I mean, Gohan, we got to respect Gohan, but at this point he's not in this. No way. Um, and I, I would update this and Vegeta would be at one. This would probably be exactly the same just with Vegeta at one. I really should record that. Uh, actually, may, I, I, I probably will record that right after this one, actually, now that I think about it. I, I could just jump right into it after making this, um, cause that's another video I could make while grinding world tournament pretty seamlessly. Uh, no way. Yeah. I, I cannot, I cannot find a spot for Tech Gohan in here. He's too shit turn one. No way. Gogeta best unit in the game. Yeah, it is crazy we don't have a standalone blue Gogeta yet. But Gogeta best in the game? Nah. I mean, you could say he's the swaggiest unit in the game. Look at this. Again, we're going to say he's the swaggiest unit in the game? Sure. Best? Nah, I can't do it. Not, not with the god of the game right there. I still maintain I've been here. I, Beast is the strongest unit I've ever used day one. He is number one. Best best Dokkan character I've ever used the day they come out is Beast. Easily. I don't even think it's close. So. Uh, Burger King Goku is definitely that guy. You know, I haven't really... I, I gotta do... I gotta do a couple of videos on him, actually. Oh, I, I, I'm glad... I, I'm glad that this was here. Yeah, I gotta give this guy a couple of videos, because... 
I, I gotta see how he's gonna work now with Mastered UI, Evolution Blue Vegeta, and, you know, 17 and 18, and we're not in an AoE meta. Certainly, I have to check that out. Hate around these two units are completely made... Uh, okay, well... <sighs> Damn, okay, all right, let, let's go, let's go. Hate around the two units are completely made because someone said, eh, I don't really like them, Doke on Twitter just ran with it. Not top 10, less shit on them. Still very much in touch and distance, not top 10 units. For God Goku, for sure. God Goku has too many good mechanics. He has an insane link set. Why don't we just pull him up on the, the Thieving Six wiki? I Like, it is actually just... Like, what that what that guy said, who, who, uh, Diamond, Requiem Diamond, what he, they're saying, well, I guess I should say they, do they have a, what they're saying about God Goku is correct, is cor like, it's correct. It does seem like people just want to not like God Goku. I, I mean, look at this link set, dude. Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, over in a flash, prepare for battle. Bastards rocking Shocking Speed, over in a flash, prepare for battle, man. He creates orbs. He dodges. He guards. He stacks. Like, I, you know, he, he's set up in a position where he still seamlessly works very good. The fact that I see so much negativity about this character is nothing simple, simply other than baiting. Just, you know, we're going to just run an anti-agenda on a character for no reason. That's, that's all that is. He has too many tools. Too many tools. Now, I can't give you Super Saiyan 4 Goku, though. I, I can't. I, this is a character... Who gets killed outside of slot? He gets demolished outside of slot one. I like he he's a fish outside of slot one, and then even in slot one, I, like he's not exactly untouchable. I like I, I I don't really know. Like whereas God Goku, like we can you know put him in different situations. He has defensive mechanics. He can work out very well, right? He can create orbs. At, Super Saiyan four Goku just like I I I would say I truly don't know what people see in him. He carries so much risk. I just, I don't know. I, he's a character that's killed by the fact that he has to go slot one. And he has to get hit. It's just such a disgusting combo. I I mean, you could very easily, you know, turn one, slot one, and there's five hits right there. Bam, 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 and you're good. And there's no super. And then, you know, you're good. But I, like, that's not how things typically go. I, I, I like these two characters. The point is good for God Goku, but Super Saiyan 4 Goku, no man. I, I can't. I, I, I cannot go there with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I cannot. Alright, let's go to the next one. I feel like we've been getting some good ones in here. Damn, we're only 22 minutes. What? Bro. Okay, I, I gotta buckle in, man. We're we're not even halfway through. Alright. Uh one of the Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. One of the saddest releases in Dokkan. Yeah, but remember, I mean, he was God on JP. That Omega fight right away. Like, it's just Global. This is why Global being behind sucks ass above anything. Global didn't really get to experience this guy being good almost ever, uh, which hurts, right? So, he's on a few months. I mean, well, I mean, it was really like a month pretty much, but I guess it was kind of like two months. Uh, no reason to run him because everything he does is mediocre apart from full power Super Saiyan 4's first turn and oops, two turn support. Yeah, that's true. Damage is mediocre. I don't know if I'd go all the way to mediocre. Well, I mean, cause, eh, I mean, he's going to drop like a 25 million attack stat crit, but you know, like it's very easy for like Evolution Blue Vegeta to do uh, basically three of those, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, I, I mean, it's, you know, it's power creep. Power creep is what it is. It's... You know, you guys are just going to have to accept this. I mean, pretty. it seems impossible now, but, you know, pretty soon these guys are going to be at the bottom of the top 10 and then not even in the top 10 at all, these guys at the top here. Like, it's power creep as a cruel mistress, and its blade is very sharp, and no one is avoiding that shit. Uh, every, every character is going to get aged out. You can't fall in love with them too much. Enjoy them while they're relevant, but then, you know, be ready to move on quick because that's what's going to happen. Uh, okay. Links like big bad bosses and the specific villain links are extremely important. Yeah, so stuff like Majin, um, Thirst for Conquest. Uh, I, 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 for some reason, Loyalty came to mind. It's a damage reduction link, but yeah, you guys get some of those links. Um, I feel people make them a bigger deal than they are. Oh, no. Uh, no, I, I don't agree. Um, as any villain that's coherent and good will be a strong villain buff for all its teams regardless of links. So, for example, a cell 
or Frieza that are top tier level. Well, yeah. See, now we're talking about a lot here. And with no restrictions. Uh, could still help units like Physical Buhan, sure. Tagsamasu, yup. LR Broly or a strong hit if he's not restricted and stuff like that. Yeah, basically just saying if they make the villain good, uh, like they could overcome the link issue. Yes, but it's not super common. I uh, We know, I mean, you, <laughs> guys, like we, you know, the last villain Dokkan Fest we got is this boy right here. And it's like they really cucked him with this. He needs this. And if he doesn't have it, it's just you're just not getting the same unit. And then obviously you need this. And then you'd really like at least some of this too. It's just, you know. And then you see, like it's not overstated how crazy Big Bad Bosses is. And how monstrous the effect of having big bad bosses up is. So, I, I I don't know. It's just, they gotta make villains way better. Um, there's a reason why I see Frieza's kit and I'm going on rants and stuff like that. Uh, is because, like, it's, you know, the writing is on the wall. Like, we know what's up with villains and shit. It's tough. Super extreme musician views on characters that easy aid horribly. Uh, not based on the EZA releases. Well, I mean, so far we've had one Super EZA. They did heavily imply that they're going to go in order, but we don't know for sure yet. Uh, of the one Super EZA we have, Charles, uh, this guy is a beast. So I'm, I'm not ready to, you know, be throwing out all the, oh, this is what they should do with Super EZAs and stuff like that. Because I feel like they really did nail it with this guy so far. They're one of one at this point. Uh, slander she got on release and the revisionist history surrounding her slow fall from grace. Most undeserved of any unit. Uh, well, I mean, Videl is always going to be treated unkindly by the community because it's Videl. I mean, she is not exactly like a Gogeta hype character. Um, I Now, Slander, uh, certainly there were people talking about like her links and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, I remember a bunch of us being like, oh my God, what do we have? Like this, she is crazy. Now this is true. Revisionist history. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. People try and pretend like she was not God when she came out, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. If listen, when we come to start talking about, you know, Ginyu or Raditz, Pan, Videl, Pycon, you know, characters like that, you know, Videl or Ginyu is what you want in terms of power level for those characters, right? Like, Ribrian would fit there. Ribrian was not as good day one as Videl was. If Ribrian was Videl, pfft, it would have been way different for her, right? Because the seventh anniversary units provided such a meta shift. No, 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 no. See? This this gets back into the discussion we had a month ago where people were talking about, um, you know, oh, the 7th anniversary LRs, like, because they were so needed, they were better than Beast Go Hut. No, they weren't. They were getting their assholes reamed out by those Red Zone bosses. Beast Gohan does not. It, it, it was not the 7th anniversary units that did the meta shift. It was Red Zone. The bosses that they made. And it, they made it to where the only characters who were really good enough to stand up in there effectively was the 7th Anniversary LRs. But again, people kind of twist that into saying, you know, the 7th Anniversaries were better than they were back then. And, and you know, they weren't. They, they could be killed so easily. Uh, but they brought us Meta Chef Power Cup 98% of the game when released. I could see them not easing for the 10th anniversary. No, no. I, at this point, they're they're on uh, a pattern. I, I would say it is... I mean, I, you don't want to say 100. So I would say 99.9% .9 that they're easing during um, the 10th anniversary in February of 2025. I would say it's... Like, it's happening. I, I, I don't even have any doubts, any hesitations, any fears, nothing... Those boys are getting their easy eight, and that is that. And again, it, it was not them. It was the red zone bosses. Um, keep that in mind. Also, but I mean, I guess 
w- one thing we could say though with the seventh anniversary units was the 200 percent leader skills right the introduction of that for sure every big dokkan youtuber should do a ps5 giveaway whenever baby vegeta and dkp get a dokkan fest because they're the most disres well disrespected characters in the history of this game uh okay what's the correlation between ps5 giveaway and <laughs> what maybe uh, tweet me this. When one of these two get their Dokkan Fest announced, tweet me this clip. Perhaps I'll do a PS5 giveaway. I could. I could. I, it, 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 that would be a good thing for someone out there. Vegito Blue 27 will get himself a PS5 because they're doing Dokkan Fest baby. Sure. Sure. Tweet me the clip. We'll see. Uh, ninth Anniversary Broly. Uh, well, okay, I don't know if this is the anniversary battle stage or the Broly Chilai and Limo stage. Not really too sure. Because remember, there's there were so many difficult fights at this. I really need to do a difficult fight tier list. People have asked for that a lot. I should do that. Uh, current tier list format for Dokkan is outdated and mostly useless. Yes, but people do, uh, people are obsessive with top tens. That's, <laughs> that's uh, yeah, you're right. Except... I mean, bro, they get numbers. People care of it. Current format for tier list basically pins every unit against all content. Well, that's well, that that's what I'm doing. Yes, like I, I, I kind of want to grade a character how they're performing in a lot of the relevant fights, right? Like I, I'm, I, I don't know. Like I have a formula in my head that I definitely could not accurately describe as much as I would like to, and some of it. Uh, well, a lot of it is feeling from using the character a lot. I, like, I don't know that I could really accurately describe it by anything other than using UI Goku a lot and Gogeta a lot. UI is just better. It's obvious to me that he's just better, right? Like, I don't have a scientific formula. I'm not like, here, let me, you know, like, power scale. And, like, I'm going to pull up this, you know, Toriyama quote. And, and I've got, like, this, you know, thing from the Daisenshu and shit like that. But it's just kind of like, bro, like, I've used them a lot. And, like, UI Goku's just stronger, right? So, like, that's, you know, for part of mine. Uh, with content now getting a bit more diverse by adding more long stage, I think there should be a separate tier list for mode. Maybe, but, I mean, that does, like, it's, we start to get into so many different situations and scenarios and stuff like that, right? Like, it's definitely tough. Um, I try, I've mentioned this a lot, I try and really pin my focus on fights that are likely to get missions, Right? Like, especially now, I mean, they've added, you know, they added the EX missions to Red Zone, Android 19, and 20. Um, they did that in December to, to Fusion Android 13, right? So, like, you know, getting a good knowledge of these fights and how certain characters can perform in said fight and stuff like that is important. I mean, you know, Worldwide Download Celebration will happen, and they'll add missions to, you know, Supreme Battle Spectacle Gogeta and Supreme Battle Spectacle UI Goku and shit like that to use categories, right? And the missions might be no item and stuff like that. So people say, no item stuff is pointless. Well, they're doing missions for it now. Oh, why wouldn't you just use... This is a point. I love Alan. Alan has been MIA. I miss you, Alan. Alan, please come back to us. But Alan would say that dumbass shit of like, you know, you have your best team. Why would I ever use anything besides best team? Well, I mean, you're going to want to use other characters at some point, man. Like, you're, we're not just going to run the same six out there every single time. Uh, and, you know, there's not every team is the same. Like, if they want us to do an Entrusted Will mission, right? Like, which characters, like, you know, Beast would be carrying the hell out of, like, a, you know, one of these missions for one of these smaller categories or something like that, right? Like, stuff like that matters. Uh, there we go. Let, let's uh, jump into some quotes. I, I think a lot of the replies have been very good, though. I've liked a lot of the stuff we've gotten. Let's see. One. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. Uh, these are the characters I have. Okay, I'm new to Dokkan, so I don't know which characters level up first. Please help me or tell me which ones upgrade first. I'm between 3,000 and 4,000 in the world. 3,000 to 4,000? What? Bro, a new player being 3,000 to 4,000 is crazy. I, I, I would like to come back to this here. I, I could like this, and, and I'll, I'll be able to come back to this. Because it's like, man, like th- th- this this is such a complex answer. Which characters to level up first? Well, I mean, it depends on which characters, you know, you would have summoned. Like, did you summon for Vegeta? Did you get Vegeta? If you got, you know, the tech Super Saiyan Vegeta, you definitely want to level him up first. Or, you know, are you on Global? Or are you on JP? 
right? Like if you're a JP player that's new, one of the first things you're going to want to do is grind up, you know, maybe the Ginyu Force and the Team Bardock squad to get yourself some some strong assets, uh, you know, f to run for some of those teams and stuff like that. Like that that could clear most pre red zone content, right? This, but yeah, it's a it like it, it it's a very tough question. Because there's so many events and so many characters and so many teams nearly 10, 10 years in. I really would be eager to help new players, though. So I do got to remember to come back to this. Uh, uh, damn, okay, private server stuff. Let's let's read it, and then I I probably won't go too in-depth. I'm sorry, uh, Matr Matroska. I, I just, I promise people we're not going to do this all day long. And I've already talked about it a lot. Uh, although I understand your point of view about private servers and why you say they're bad, I also think that if used correctly, they could be a great tool to help artists express their creativity and be able to create good projects, content for people to enjoy. Um, I don't know that that's something I can argue against. Yeah, like, there, there's certainly been lots of good, like, um, like, I can think of, like, good, like, projects like that and, like, the Pokemon community and stuff like that. Although I know Nintendo, they rule with an iron hammer and shit, right? But I, I'd, be, I'd be sure. Like, yeah, like, I, I probably won't be able to argue against uh, this point. Uh, you don't care what anyone says. He's Dokkan Fest LR worthy. Beat the living shit out of Goku Black in this episode. See him for Tanabata. I'd be okay if he was Tanabata. Yeah. Uh, people definitely were a little bit disappointed when Vegeta and Trunks were Tanabata, but it really worked. I think the, like, number one, they were clearly the best unit in the game by far. They were way better than the 7th Anniversary LRs. So wasn't even close. Uh, so that helped them. And their animations were unbelievable. I remember we were all like, oh, wow, dude. These animations are crazy for Vegeta and Trunks. Uh, but I would be okay with this. Tanabata LR Blue Vegeta with this this stuff. Because the thing that doesn't make any sense about this character, I, like, I, I, their animations suck so bad. The Blue Goku and Vegeta. And they don't do, Goku and Vegeta do tons of cool shit in the arc, and they don't use any of it. A Goku, when he beats down Goku Black and Zamasu, right? Like, all that cool shit he's doing, like, they don't have that in there. Remember, Goku goes Blue Kaioken and, and messes up Zamasu. It's not in there. Vegeta obliterating Goku Black is not in this card. So, yeah, very, very bizarre. People hate on dodge units too much. They do. I mean, wh one thing about dodge, again, there's another thing I'm not going to get into too heavily. Relax, relax. But, like, there is a huge anti-dodge thing out there. And most of the time when I'm talking about dodge, like, I'm envisioning myself debating and pushing back against those people. That's mostly what it is. Uh, you dislike the Extreme Street Battle meta more than Red Zone. Well, because for the most part, you know, those were category restricted, type restricted. I mean, we could go into all these Supreme Battle Spectacle fights and easily, effortlessly no item them in one try. I mean, do you guys know how long it took me to, you know, me and... You know, Ningen, we're just the two I know that really have, like, no item to all those two battle stages. Although, Ningen's not on um, JP, so he has several stages behind, unfortunately. Uh, but, like, the amount of attempts we did combined for, like, Fusion Extreme Super Battle Road, Super AGL Extreme Super Battle Road, Extreme Tech, extreme, like, bro, like, they, like, that shit was way harder than, like, red zone stages and stuff like that that's why I like so, like i get what people say where i don't like the direction the game has gone with like red zone difficulty and stuff it's like yeah i got it but i mean bro i like these red zone stages and shit are not harder than like some of those extreme super battle road stages were right or or you know like red zone broly is still the most dominant boss we've seen in several years i he was what you know with what we had available to us he was way above anything else we've seen in years Merge of Master was a fun fight. I thought Merge of Master was a really fun fight. I get people's gripes with it, but I felt like they went way overboard with it. Easy areas while less grindy give less rewards. I like more rewards for your time. Yeah, I mean, the best uh, compromise is LR Easy A's. Ten stages, you know, you're going to get your stones, you're going to get your orbs. You know, you get a really good character, right? For sure. Uh, Dokkan should easy a lot more of the old mid-banner units. Uh, they have been doing that. Yeah, they, 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 they've they been getting a lot of those guys easier. 
Uh, but if they want to keep them on the banners, yeah, maybe they should remove some of those characters and put them on like a separate banner or something like that. I don't know. Uh, hopefully not a hot take, but Daima should 100% get Dokkan Fest. Oh, that's, that's, that's happening. That's like, you could, you could just put that to bed right now. Unlike Superhero, where, you know, Dokkan did not, like, like, you know, the games didn't know about Superhero ahead of time. Like, Daima is, is, you know, like, it's not the same. I, like, we, the episode one of Daima comes out, and we could have a Dokkan Fest for Daima the same day. It's not gonna be like Superhero. I, you know, I, I would expect, Actually, th this is something we should talk about. Yeah, I, I mean, this is going to be a thing. Once we get towards, the, like, New Year's, like, people are going to say, like, oh, like, a baby in Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Kid Goku and Demon King. Like, it, it, it very well could be, like, Daima shit. Would be, like, New Year's, maybe part of the anniversary, right? Like, you got to keep this in mind. Uh, many Dokkan Fest and LR slots moving forward over the next year uh, could actually be Daima stuff. It's going to be nice to have, like, a an anime airing every week again. You know, obviously, I would definitely prefer, like, you know, the Moro arc and stuff like that. But new Dragon Ball content, pff, sign me up. All right, let's go. Why didn't I wish, wish, why, wish, why didn't I wish Raizu happy birthday on March 3rd, 2023 and 2024? Okay, Raizu, well, happy birthday on March 3rd of 2023. Uh, you know, it's a little bit far away for me to say like, oh, I hope you had a good time. But March 3rd, 2024, happy birthday. You know, that's still pretty fresh. I mean, I don't know what I was doing on that day. I was probably playing Final Fantasy 16. It was very good. I hope you had even half of the happiness I had while playing Final Fantasy 16. I don't know how I turned that into 16, but um, I don't, that's a good game. <laughs> I, yeah, the happy birthday, Raisu. <laughs> okay. Oh, Okay. Uh, so I have not, uh, played a Persona before. I have not. Um, I'm definitely interested, but I mean, guys, there's just, there's just so many games to play. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm trying my best to kind of cook through a lot of games and stuff like that. Uh, right now I'm, I'm playing Crisis Core. Then I'm going to finish up the Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC. Then I'm going to play Rebirth and then we'll re-examine I still got to go back for Yakuza uh, 0 and Yakuza 1 and get their Platinums as well. Super huge long RPGs. All I have to do for these two is do Legend Mode, so essentially like a, a second playthrough, and then the Climax Battles and all the Platinums. I already I did Mahjong. I did all the collectibles. I got all that stuff done. But I've just gone through like huge RPG, huge RPG, huge RPG, taking up a lot of time. I do want to jump into Persona, but again, these are also going to be just, you know, huge RPG. And it's now been, you know, I was playing um, Yakuza Kiwami. Well, I guess I did finish it at the start of February, but I already have the hunger to jump into Kiwami 2. But I can't, dude, I can't do Kiwami 2 until I at least Platinum Zero. Uh, but yeah, I've played none of these. I do want to. Um, I want to play Persona 3, 4, or 5. I love getting trophies and playing games. I've been loving that shit. So I will hop in. Uh, I'll ask some of the Persona fans. Uh, ask Minato, Ignant, Dave. See what they think about this. I I'm pretty sure my boy Dave says he likes 3 is the best, though. I think. Pretty sure. He'll let me know. Uh, these two fights are the most deserving of being Golden Week. So we have Blue Cow Ken and Hit, and then we have UI Goku and Jiren. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I can't say I would be against these. Uh, Golden Week, how often has Golden Week had a villain in it, though? So last year, Piccolo Jr., the year before was Cell. The year before was Goku and Vegeta, so there was no villain in 2021. Uh, then 2020, it was Gotenks and Boo. They're going to be easing soon. Oh my god, Boo. Oh, Boo is probably going to be such a sick easy, eh? And then 19 was Trunks and Zamasu. Um, I... <sighs> Eventually, we are going to get a UI Goku and Jiren Dokkan Fest. The only thing about it is, damn, like, losing a villain slot does just... It hurts, man. They need it so bad, but... Super easy eh, as a mechanic, I feel like, was made to really help villain characters... Because if they nail, you know, physical Kid Boo, Tech Cell, physical Full Power Frieza, Super Easy A's, villains could be in business for sure. 
Latinas over AGL Broly. That is not a lie. Yes. I, I, we do have Latinas above AGL Broly in the uh, power rankings, for sure. For sure. For sure. The Hero Celebration and Dokkan should introduce you. Yes. Yes, it should. Rarest banner in the game. Yeah, but it's it's also the easiest characters to obtain. Keep that in mind. It's very easy to summon and pull the Heroes characters. But just dropping LR would be fun, yeah. But uh, maybe they don't want to divert the resources to making an LR with more animations and more elaborate card art and stuff like that for something that sh is, is such a small little window. That, I, um, I don't know, but that's what I imagine it is. I bet you they could do a Heroes LR, but they probably don't see it as very like cost efficient, time efficient for, you know, it, it, like it would show up, it would be on one banner and then the Heroes LR wouldn't show up for another year. Like it, it certainly would be super exciting, like for the first week, but I, I would be okay with it. I mean, I would hope that the Heroes LR, if it would, could be like a true yellow coin banner that doesn't only appear in the time slot. But again, if you guys are curious why Heroes characters only show up at one time, uh, I believe it is something to do with the copyright shit. Like, I don't fully understand it, but I believe, like, according to, like, contract shit, like, that is when the characters have to drop. I believe. So. Xeno Vegeta's Big Bang animation is better than the new... Uh... No? Uh, hold on. Okay. So we saw that. Or we just watched that. Okay. Uh, oh. What? No? This looks quite a bit better. This is, uh... This is a lot better. This is a new thing, KO screens? Yeah, no, this is a lot better by, like, this is, like, the difference between, like, LeBron James and Mo Williams on, like, the 07 Cavs or whatever. What? Bruh. Okay. Int Broly is so sexy and good. Eh, well, we'll have to agree to disagree. Maybe, uh, maybe after that EZA we'll talk. With the LR Gammas... So it's much better meta for her. She cooks. Yep, she does. She can cook pretty hard. Yeah, she she she's pretty solid for sure. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I think people, older players, should keep dupes of some LRs because of how good link leveling is, despite chain battle being gone. And they're gonna add extra stuff on the system, which is great since it's very good already. Not a huge loss. Oh, okay. I, I think um, what Aeon Style 2 is getting at is, like, the power level bonus is what they're talking about. Um, but, like, you, you're not going to need to link level TURs of LRs and stuff like that to get a high enough power level to get all those bonuses. Yes, I, I assume they are going to continue adding stuff to that. The power level bonus system, now that it's been out for a little bit, is very good. Getting a lot of the extra drops and medals and the extra attempts is good. I would hope they continue expanding on that, making life easier. I think it's great to reward longtime players who've done a lot of grinding. I still wish the power level system was done better than it is. Right now, I I'm not the biggest fan um, of how they've done the power level system. I'm just not. Uh, they There's way too much emphasis on link leveling. Not a great indication of overall play time and stuff like that. Like, it's just, you know, since... J uh, July of 2020, how much have you grinded links is essentially your power level, which is stupid, right? It should There should be way more factors in there. I still don't understand why you can't get a point at least for every stage you've ever done, or two points, or five points, or something. Um, but sure, sure. And, I mean, Vegeta above Beast is, is clownery, foolishness, buffoonery. Um, I mean, if, if you really wanted something here, what I could give you, here's here's what I could give you. The gap. So Vegeta would be right here. The gap from Vegeta to number two TUR is bigger 
than the gap from Beast to to Evolution Blue Vegeta, probably, right? That's what I would say. I think so. I th I think I would say that. That that's what I could give you. I mean, obviously he's not competing with Beast, but that's what I could give you. Uh, chain battle is one of the easiest modes in the game. Uh, every chain battle, people can clear all the missions with 100% free-to-play units. Yep. Uh, a lot of these guys, because I know the, the... This is... I don't know what the proper way to say it, A guild or, you know, whatever. The, the DBC. Like, I've seen these guys around. Um, they were they were the ones that were huge in the chain battle. Uh, the thing that people just won't acknowledge is that, like, these guys made it their mission to help people get top 1% and shit, too. Like, uh, people just pretend like that shit didn't exist. Right? Like, you know, like, it's like, I, I'm on their side. I'm on DBC size for this, for sure. Um, you know, a lot of the free-to-play, like, you know, you could use, like, the EGL Super Strike Vegeta and a uh, version Z Goku and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people not understanding that the top 1% is and will always be a very small number, literally 1%, and their laziness ruined it. Yeah, I, I do think that a lot of people just chose not, like, they, they just didn't understand it. They didn't want to understand it. Um, the thing about Dokkan players and Dokkan Twitter, I mean, you know, a lot of them will just talk endless shit, and they, they don't even play the game. They don't play the game. They barely touch it, right? Like, they, they will comment all day long about certain things that they have no idea what they're talking about. And I do think Chain Battle is a huge example of that. You'll get people who will swear to God that Chain Battle was so bad for free. We're not a whale like you. We can't play Chain Battle when, like, that's not even, like, the huge aspect of it, right? Like, most of the characters you were using were not your own characters. Like, you know, you, you did not need to whale to get top 1%. You just had to know which characters to look for, which most players didn't choose to do, didn't want to do, all right? Uh, these guys are going to be my most looked for batch of EZs in the future. Finally beat a Cell Max Ginyu Force no items a while back. Um, I would like to see them dominate the next wave of content. Uh, I'm going to assume Malcolm here is referring to EGL, Dokkan, Fest, Ginyu, and those Ginyu characters. Yeah, it will be fun. Um, hopefully, what they could do is they would EZA them, and then maybe they would release, like, Captain Ginyu into Goma's body in Dragon Ball Super as a character. Or, you know, Goku Ginyu does have a character right now, but the only... Well, I guess the easiest way to see this is here. Um... I, well, I, so, oh, God damn it, dude. The, the, this wiki is always such a bitch to move around, man. The Thieving Six wiki, I go there, I do two clicks, and we, we're on the unit. Uh, this is what I wanted to show. It was just, of the Ginyu, like, they could do, like, a standalone Ginyu Goku, right? When they EZA them, and Ginyu Force could be a relevant team easily, for sure. Need this guy to be the best EZA TUR. Good link set. Help fund a lot of lower-level teams. Uh, well, okay, yeah, th this is true, but for the most part, I mean, this would be good for, like, missions and stuff, but, like, these aren't in, like, good leader skills right now. GT Hero, very easy to throw on a given team, he's raw. Um, let me, let me pull him up, let's just take a good, uh, glance at, like, some of these, um, links and categories and stuff. He's coming up, for sure. Uh, like, any character... To, like, from, like, Namek, Goku, and Full Power Frieza, and, like, before, like, we, you know, we could just see them easy with any celebration. Remember that the active skill will not change. So, active is going to be exactly the same. Uh, okay, hold on. This, I feel like people would look at this. Bro, blue Gogeta can be attack debuffed. You have this queued up ready to go, and you just drop this on blue Gogeta? You're debuffing his attack by 40%. That's a big deal. That's, yeah, I, I mean, uh, characters that have abilities like that, I mean, they are letting us, they, they actually, like, enabled it to where we could use things like defensive lowering, sealing, attack debuffing in some of these high-level fights, right? So, hmm, okay, okay. Uh, Shocking speed over in a flash, GT fuse fighter, okay. What is, like, an actual team he's on right now? Uh, hmm. Uh, the answer is kind of, like, none, actually. Like, none of these are, like... Like, he doesn't really have, like, a team. I, like, I don't, I don't like these guys as leaders. I don't like any of that. Yeah, he actually doesn't have a team, really. 
I, right? Like, I, am I insane? Like, I, I don't, like, none of these are particularly good. I, I guess Fusion Zamasu is the best, is the best thing to do. I, because it's like, bro, like, I, we've spent how long me talking shit about this guy? Like, uh, I, looking at this, I don't want this guy to EZA right now. Cause I don't like, I, I would not like a setup of his. I don't, he, he's not on good setups. You know, we're, we're running some bullshit ass leader pretty much no matter what. Yeah. So I, I'm not ready for this guy to easy. Let's let, let's let him get a solid team first, which I, I mean, I know you could look at a lot of those and go, he's got a team. Not really. You, you understood what I was saying right there. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but he is raw. Yeah. Yeah. He was, you want to talk about fun. Whew. That was fun. That was crazy shit too. I, like we V jump. Go G Super Saiyan 4 Go G this is the next Dokkan Fest. What? <laughs> what? Doesn't make any sense. Uh no. It's Zamasu. Zamasu is the best. Yeah, like I I I, I would rank Zamasu above Oh, above future Gohan? Yeah, I probably would. I as 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 I've, you know, used characters stuff like that a lot more. I I think I like Tech Fusion Zamasu. As the best of the four. Then probably future Gohan. Then maybe Blue Vegito. Then Trunks. I, it, it's hard. But I, I would probably say Zamasu. I think is the best LR. From last year's Worldwide. Uh, yeah. Power level bonus is really good. It's, it's, it's really good. I also think they weren't really like over aggressive with the power level to have. Um, like, yeah, you do have to do a lot of link leveling to get to 3 million power level, but it's not like when the power level update first happened, I was already above 3 million to give you guys an example, right? Like the day it dropped, I was already above that threshold. So it wasn't, it, you know, and I, I was not done link leveling every character and that was two years ago. So Namek Bulma, that's better than Beast would go crazy for Tanova. I'm okay with that. At Bulma as a Dokkan Fest, this Bulma is the perfect pick because a lot of her animations could be her and her robots. There's the episode where um, the two, it's filler, but the two, like, uh, Frieza soldiers kind of, like, kidnap her. And, like, you know, she they're looking for the Dragon Ball underwater and shit like that, like her and her robots. That could easily be um, a Dokkan Fest. Yeah, I, I would be there. Bulma, Dokkan Fest, sign me up right now. I'm with it. If you're not someone who wants a complete box, this is how you look summoning for extreme class units. Uh, in many instances, yes. Uh, the best way to pick up extreme class units would be, you know, they're on, you know, Dokkan Fest LR banners, right? Like a lot of times, you know, you, you don't have to summon for LR SDR cool the day he comes out. That boy is coming back on anniversary banners and shit. That's like you, you know you're going to need to get some extreme class units for some of these missions. And, uh, you know, a lot of the typical difficult events, Supreme Battle Spectacle and Cell Max and stuff, they had extreme class missions. You're going to need some extreme class characters. But, you know, pulling them when they're on Dokkan Fest LR banners, uh, that's the way to do it, for sure. Zaffa and Moscow are bums. Okay. Um, we do love a nice animal post here. I said W. We love cats. We do. W for sure. All right. Uh, LR Yamcha and Par, the second best unit in the game. LR NTN. Well, I'm going to have to. Yamcha and Poir, Well, I guess actually technically they are out, aren't they? Yeah. Yamcha and Poir are actually out right now. Uh, I, like, I, I could literally easy A them and do the showcase this second. So I guess I can't say they're not even out. Um, but I haven't used them yet, so we'll come back to this. Oh, whoops, I forgot to use an item. Do I die? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, every once in a while, every world turn, you're going to get like a, a, you know, one time or two where you'll forget to use an item. Uh, but yeah, I mean, l let's be, they're, yeah, no, they're nowhere in the discussion. Uh, yeah, sure. I haven't used them though, so. Greatest duo in Dokkan history is Agile Super Vegito and STR Gogeta. They'll destroy the game. Man, do, you, do we do we think that they're actually going to respect AGL Super Vegito? I he's one of those characters. We saw it with AGL Super Vegito that he was way too busted when he was originally out, and then Dokkan gave him a shit EZA. 
Uh, and the same thing happened with Kale and Khalifa. They were way too busted when they came out. Dokkan gave them a shit easy A. Uh, do we think that Vegito is going to have a shit sub easy A or super easy A? We'll see. We will see. Uh, hero celebration is always a doom celebration. Lords and players with high featured rates, characters who have kits, dominate the current meta. Well, sometimes. It's, um, two years ago, they sucked ass. Uh, they have artificial scarcity. Well, okay, but we know, like, when they're coming. To make people want to summon more, just to be power crap less than a month later. Yeah, global players, keep in mind, um, shit's done with heroes for you guys. Now you guys are on JP timing next year. So, you know, we'll get our shiny heroes characters. They'll be really good, hopefully. Like, like, Vegeta, like, if anyone says this guy wasn't crazy the day he came out a couple months ago, like, they're, they're on crack. Like, stop it. Shut up. He was crazy, but... He get power. We knew. We were not stunned. Oh my god, he got power crept two months later. What? Where? Like, yeah, we knew it was coming. But that doesn't change the fact of how dominant he was the day he came out. He was. Uh, they need to start easing banning units more frequently. Um, I don't know. I, I they 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 are doing a lot of they easy as shit a lot, man. I I don't know that I agree that they need to be done more frequently insulting the gap between EGL Gohan and in 16 ZZA. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I would look at it like this. Well, I guess at the time the Gammas were leading the Android team. So it certainly could have been relevant, but like 16 is going to slide into a solid team. I don't have an issue with the rate at which they're easing banner units or the the gap between Gohan and 16. I don't have a problem with it. Gap between... Oh, yeah, this is crazy. They still have an easy at this guy. Okay. I, maybe, if you're going to point out this guy, maybe you got a point. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, this guy, uh, he could be a good easy A or he could suck. He is going to be a sub easy A. So, like, it's... In 16 seems ludicrous. Like, I... This is an argument for one of the worst characters the day he came out ever. And now his EZA is, like, really busted. Tech androids are a glorified ghost usher. Why glorified? Yeah, that, no, that's, yeah, yeah their value is a ghost usher, we know. Don't believe these runs which last to turn 48 for them to look good. Well, well, wait a minute, that's, but that's, that's against Cell Max, right? Like, that's part of the, like, Cell Max is a differently designed fight, I like we, you know, I, several runs I've done with villains where it's like, you know, we've gone to turn 20 and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, people hate to admit ever since ninth anniversary blue. No, what bro? Uh, why are people saying this? Am I living? What? Their stocks have increased dramatically and VB is much easier to get out. I, I, I do not see that being the case. Uh, maybe I do got to go just sit down and. And get some videos done on them. I, I like I I feel like it's worse for them. They have a worse transformation condition than STR Vegito. Like I like this is a character to say they get bullied when their intro is off uh, is the understatement of the the century. I like I I I don't know. I mean it, it's bro like they are exposed. I, do you guys remember? Why was I saying this character was so good six months ago? I wasn't talking about Blue Vegito. I was saying their turn one slot one defensive ability is so important and so good. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter now. That, that shit is not high value anymore. And it's not any easier to get Vegito out than it was before. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I've seen a lot of people talking about this character like this, and I don't, I don't see it. I'm sorry. I do, I do not see it at all. <laughs> I, uh, guys, hold on. All right. So this is what we've got in terms of uh, thumbnails. So it like you could see some of these and, you know, maybe you'll see one of these videos pop up. All right. Obviously, some like I don't have this kid Goku rainbowed. I don't have this Piccolo Jr., this Piccolo Jr. rainbowed. So like those are just sitting there until I eventually rainbow them in 10 years. But, like, I mean, we could go up here. We've got the EGL TP on hour-long video thumb. I just... The thing about an hour-long video is... Uh, it, you know, it, it takes me, like, two and a half, three hours to make. Uh, sometimes. So, like, I, I just haven't had the time to sit down and do it. I mean, currently, I'm grinding World Tournament, right? Like, I don't... I, you know, I'll get to it, but... 
you know, it's uh, good things come to those who wait or whatever. Uh, we're at an hour five, maybe. Uh, no, Tekoku is not. No, no, he's not. No way. EGL Bardock is underrated. Sure, he's not great on base. How the current meta is build up fights. Got the juice to cook. Once you know when to transform with him into Super Saiyan. I, it, it, Bardock is a potential unit. Um, it's like, yeah, like his Super Saiyan's got a lot of potential, but like, what does he actually do? No damage and he gets crushed. Right. But like, I mean, he could go crazy, but like, what does he actually do? That's, that's the question you must ask yourself and answer. Super Trunks sounds so good. Throwing out that Ghost Tusher. Boss can't even attack. But what happens when you actually use Super Trunks? Uh, you die. <laughs> you lose. Uh, wait, what? Didn't we... Huh? Didn't we already read that? His EZA when? Oh, well... Oh, actually, he's in... Yeah, he's in range. Because he was a December of 2020 character. And, I mean, we just got... Mr. Super Vegeta, who was, what, July of 2021 to EZ... Well, he EZAs in 24 hours, but... Yeah, he's in range. We could see this guy EZ at any time now, moving forward. Uh, Still a good unit. I mean, they're okay. I, you know, they're not a great unit, not the best, but, I mean, they're... I'll give them okay. They got a lot of risk. A lot of risk on those boys. For Gogeta Blue being better than EGL... UI, I think, with his HP regen and stuff. Oh, well, this is perfect. We've already talked about that a lot extensively. Yeah, I, I mean, EGL UI just feels way better. He just feels stronger to me. Um, better defensively, better offensively. But the one thing where Gogeta becomes, you know, that, that target mechanic, I mean, that is... I will never not run Gogeta with that target mechanic in his back pocket. That shit is way too good. All right, I think we're probably done here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, oh. A Savior's no item run. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Tech Ultimate Gohan. Ooh, uh, Majub. S tier Ultimate Gohan. Uh, this is similar to mine. I think I had someone else instead of EGL Pycon. I think. Uh, yeah, I had Yajirobe instead of EGL Pycon. That's a good ass run. By fade to blacks, yeah, that's a W run right there. We respect that. Hell yeah, I've seen. This is the third one I've seen. I know Ningen got his done. I have mine done, and then now fade to blacks. I'm sure some other people have done it. This is hard. This is hard. This is pretty big. Okay, sure. So I mean, if you got it done with the full additional build on Gohan, then you could talk shit to me and say Gohan needs to be full additional. That was the the deal I made. Yes, that is true. You can say that. Uh, I I have no uh, response to give except for a like and agree. There you go. You got me. Uh, all right, we're done. Uh, no, I don't know that they really need to do this. I mean, I, uh, you know, some of the characters do confess it. To me, it's more of an issue. Like, people will cry endlessly about easies and stuff like that. I mean, if they fumble them, they fumble them, guys. Like, it's whatever. Like, the new summonable units, those are the ones where, like, let's, you know, make them good, man. Uh, nah, I mean, Dodge was still very good in a lot of those Super Battle Road runs and stuff like that. Yeah, all right, we're done. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hot takes and stuff like that. I feel like we got a lot of good stuff here in this second one. Uh, thank you everyone for stopping by and I'll catch you guys next time.